what's up guys welcome back to the vlog channel so i just did the craziest thing i am actually standing outside of japan's haunted forest it is currently almost six o'clock in the morning and uh, i actually got here yesterday i literally arrived at the forest at 6 p.m so i've officially been here for 12 hours uh just had one of the craziest experiences i found something kind of disturbing in there but because this one is before that one i don't want to give it away um but you guys are going to see that it's uh it's wild in there man not only did we find stuff uh which you guys are obviously going to see but i had one of the craziest paranormal experiences in here uh it looks like i recorded almost two hours worth of footage so you guys are in for a treat um i'm just kind of letting you guys know that beforehand before we actually get to that video but uh, i got about an hour and a half before the bus starts running and shows up to pick me up to bring me back to the damn train station i am exhausted um but we're gonna keep exploring we're gonna keep adventuring i'm gonna go off to the other side it looks like there is another trail um it's actually part of the same forest aokigahara um still don't even know if i'm saying that properly but whatever i do apologize japan <laughs> try my best here i'm um, just a gaijin just trying to explore the world right uh <laughs> but yeah we're gonna go across the street check that out uh, apparently there's like a bird sanctuary or something because i read the sign earlier and i'm like oh what's this bird sanctuary sounds pretty cool but um yeah it's been like raining steady i was originally going to like actually try and stay in the forest but um, couldn't do that the entire time steadily because of the rain. I had to literally wait until about almost uh, 2, 2.30 in the morning before the rain kind of, you know, decided it was almost done. And then I got back in there and of course it was still raining, but whatever. All right, let's head across the street and uh, check this thing out. So it's uh, quite gloomy this morning. Very, very cloudy. A lot of mist, as you guys can see. Um... But yeah, just down uh, yonder, I think it's there, um, there is another trail. I can see a bunch of signs kind of going through there. It's very cool, but it's kind of warming up a little bit. Sorry, my uh, kind of skipped my, my voice there for a second, but let's go and check this out. Might as well, we got some time to kill before the bus comes. So, I think there was another sign that actually said what this was. But uh, as you can see, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the forest over here, but this forest has a very, very unique look to it. So this is the Saiko Yako Nomori Park Wild Bird Forest. Cool. You might see some wild birds. I did see some uh, wildlife on the other side last night, but yeah, that's just a little glimpse of what it looks like in there. Very dense. This is, uh, I believe, the most dense forest in the world. Damn, I'm so tired. My legs don't even want to work anymore, so we're just going to take this a little bit slow. Just enjoy a little bit of a hike. Plus, I also have... Uh, I've been literally carrying two backpacks because I had to bring so much equipment with me um, between all my ghost hunting stuff, my drone, all my cameras and stuff like that. Um, it's a lot of weight. My shoulders are killing me, but uh, we'll survive. <laughs> it was worth it though. Definitely worth coming here. Worth obviously bringing everything, you know, for a crazy, crazy experience. All right, let's continue on. Hey, everything is so freaking gloomy this morning, damn. You put that rock there. <laughs> so, um, what's crazy in this area is there is a thing that people do. Oh, that's uh, odd. Trash. What is that? I don't even know what the heck that is. I don't know if I want to know. What the heck? There's a whole bunch of trash over here. What is going on? There's like a cup down there. That is very rare for Japan, I can assure you of that. Let me step in there for a second. Whoa. Whoa, this ground is uh, a little mushy, soft. I don't see anything else. So, 
Um, something that people do over here, which is kind of crazy. So something that people do here, um, people unfortunately come to the forest and sometimes they go deep off into the woods and uh, they pitch a tent and essentially contemplate life and then sometimes end up taking their own lives. Um, it does happen. They do find several dozen bodies throughout the year in this general area just because this place is so dense and uh, I guess if you will, if you wanted to disappear and you didn't want people to know where you were or find you, especially in a place like Japan where it's generally very busy because you have such a large population on such a small island, this is the place to do it. It's, uh, it's very sad to think about. Um, I know people personally who continue to suffer from depression are going through hard times right now, presently, and uh, try my best to help those people as much as I possibly can, obviously showing love and support. Um, but yeah, I mean, I also have friends over the years who did decide to do the deed, and uh, unfortunately they're no longer with us. Ugh. I love how there's just a trail with like two giant trees just blocking the way. <laughs> that is so funny. All right, uh, this is a cool spot. This rain, well, it's not even really raining now. It's just the water coming off of the trees, but it is a little bit like misty still. But take a look at that. This place is freaking cool. As far as I know, there's no forest anywhere else in the world quite like this one. Oh yeah, you can kind of hear the birds. That's kind of nice. <sighs> Damn, I could really use some uh, some food. <sighs> yeah, this place is uh, very, very dense. And the thing too is because there's like so much roots on top of roots, um, it's very very easy to hurt yourself so generally speaking don't go off the trail and also not to mention that you could probably get lost i don't know how far in i'm gonna go but we'll go in a little bit i don't really have a lot of energy i'm just gonna be real with you guys i kind of burnt a lot of it off between tonight and all the uh, other videos I've been filming. There's a lot of trash here. What, the, what is the deal with that? In a country like Japan where things are generally very clean. I hate that. Now I don't know if people do, you know, go off into this side. Um, it is a possibility. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I don't have that answer. It's very noisy on this trail because the, the freaking highway is literally right there. But even all night I was hearing uh, just traffic constantly. And in case you're wondering how I survived the night, <laughs> dealing with all the rain and everything, uh, I basically stayed most of the night in a bathroom. The ladies' bathroom, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Uh, the reason why I stayed in the ladies' bathroom is because, well, number one, it was cleaner. Number two, the facilities were better because here in Japan, some public restrooms have squatting toilets. So you, it's literally like, not, kind of like a hole in the ground like an oval shape and you kind of literally have to squat while you poo <laughs> so that's just how they do things here sometimes um, but not even just for that the real reason was because they had trash cans in the ladies they had a hand dryer which came in handy because my gloves got soaked so I had to run them through like 40 times but eventually they finally dried off which was great before I went back off into the forest on the other side 
and uh, yeah, and I was also able to sit on the toilet um, instead of like you know standing in a dirty bathroom for hours on end without actually being able to take a seat would have been horrible. So that one trail kind of ended, and then there's another trail like right here. Now this is uh, pretty far to the uh, wild bird forest, so I'm definitely not going to do that whole hike because I just really don't have the time now. Oh, what is this? That's a cool looking trail sign. But yeah, I'm going to probably go another maybe like 10 minutes in and then probably just turn around. Now, if there was somebody in the, the woods here, kind of, you know, hiding out, they would generally be very, very far in. Um, but sometimes you'll notice markers. I don't see anything. Got more trash here. What the heck? You got like packs of whole cigarettes here. Or no, that's a straw. I thought that was a cigarette, but yeah, there are a bunch of cigarette butts here. Um, empty packs. I mean, it could be somebody staying here. Maybe even before. I don't know. Ooh, now we're actually getting into it a little bit here. Now, in a few days, I'm going to be going to a place called Nara, um, where apparently the deer there are extremely chill and will literally come up to you and you can feed them directly from your hands. Kind of a cool thought. Still a very cool morning brisk but check this place out man holy crap isn't that freaking cool like this forest just has a look to it very mossy lots of random little rocks everywhere now, i believe a lot of this was also created when uh when a volcano erupted, which I believe was Mount Fuji a long, long time ago. Now, I wish I had the time to go to Mount Fuji, um, but I guess it's kind of good that I'm not because the weather is going to be kind of trashy, basically, up until I leave for Taiwan, um, which is happening. It is booked. Uh, <laughs> so I'll be meeting Steve Ronan there. Um, but yeah, basically, I mean, going to look at a beautiful mountain and there being just fog and rain and clouds is kind of like defeats the whole purpose of enjoying nature. I mean, this is kind of cool because it has like that eerie look to it. But, um, yeah, I mean, if I were to go to Mount Fuji, I'd realistically want good weather. Now I might come back here, uh, maybe in like a month and a half or something like that because Basically, I plan on staying for two, maybe two and a half months, something like that, and uh, I'm going to need to fly out from somewhere, and I think Steve might want to come back to Japan, and honestly, I kind of want to come back and spend like maybe a couple more weeks here, especially once it's warmer and the weather is better, um, just because there's so much to see here. Honestly, dude, there is no time frame that I would say is realistically enough to visit Japan. It's just too complicated. But uh, yeah, let's go a little deeper in. Uh, I gotta check the time. Um, so I really don't wanna miss the bus because otherwise I'm gonna be waiting a while again. But yeah, let's get a little bit deeper in because I just wanna see uh, how it looks in here. And then uh, I'm gonna turn around and head back. This place is uh, gorgeous. Gorgeous and eerie at the same time. Love it. There's another trail marker. I'm going to read these signs and then probably turn around and head back. 
It's gorgeous in here, but uh, gotta head back eventually, right? All right, so the uh, Fugaku Fuketsu Wind Cave, um, that's actually where I was. That's where I started out from. Psycho Yako Nomori Park, that way. And then there's a village this way, and apparently it's also a rough trail. Yeah, it kind of looks that way, doesn't it? <laughs> Let's just go a little bit further down this way. Let's see what it is. I also got to check the time. Uh, it is 5.49, so I got like basically an hour. Oh yeah, this is definitely a rough trail. Now there's a lot of spots. Oh, this is cool. Wow, it actually takes you like right in here. That's neat. But yeah, there's a lot of spots that are kind of deceiving that almost look like trails. But then you kind of realize that they're not. Also, look at this like fungi on this tree. That's crazy. Look at that. Oh, there's more on that side. Damn. Ugh. All right, well, that is pretty much it for this, uh, I guess, little hike. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the sneak preview of kind of what's to come on the main channel. Um, honestly, probably the scariest vi video I've ever filmed. Like, legit, the scariest. Um, this place is just out of this world. Especially at nighttime, it is super creepy. There's so much history to this place and all sorts of crazy crazy things going on so definitely looking forward to, to sharing that uh, video with you guys all right guys we are officially back in tokyo um basically what i'm gonna do now uh because it's kind of like a i want to take a little bit of a slow day I need to really recover after the forest. Uh, it took a lot out of me, but um, yeah, I got some sleep and I decided I was gonna go and just do some like touristy type of things. So I looked up, uh, actually I didn't even look it up. It was suggested to me there was an article of top 10 locations to go and visit here in Tokyo. And one of them is this beautiful looking Buddhist temple. Apparently the area is amazing. Uh, it's called the Sensoji. Um, literally just about two minutes away from the entrance area to it. It's probably gonna be crazy, crazy busy, but I'm excited to check this one out. So let's head on over. Now, it is a bit of a dark and gloomy day here, um, but we're gonna enjoy the day. At least it's warmer here. I was uh, freezing cold back where the forest was. That area was just really, really chilly. I am mentally preparing for a lot of people to be in this one particular spot. I'm also on the lookout for some good food. Apparently there's some really good street food out there, so we'll check that out. Whoa, what is that? That looks really cool. But I believe we're supposed to turn left. Oh, wow. Okay. Check that out. So I think the entrance is down there. Holy crap, look at all those freaking people down there. Whoa. Yep, can already see the hordes of people <laughs> heading off in this direction. Especially because I think it's a Friday today. Got some sweets here. Everybody's ready for cherry blossom season. Yeah, this is about to get nuts. Down there we have the uh, Tokyo Tower. Apparently there's an observation deck. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Honestly, I'm a little afraid of heights. So we might just skip that. But it looks pretty cool. Apparently you can see a really, really cool view from up there. All right, it is time to cross. See other people randomly filming. <laughs> Oh, wow. Mmm, something smells good. Damn, I wish, uh, I wish they would hurry up and invent smell-o-vision. <laughs> it's actually not too, too busy. Ooh, Kobe beef. Might have to try that. 
One piece is 500 yen. Three piece set is 2300 yen. I wonder if like three pieces would be enough. <laughs> well, that's the size of it, it looks like. That looks pretty interesting, but I'm gonna keep looking around and see what else there is. I also just noticed that premium sirloin is 14,800 yen. That's probably uh, about $140, $150 Canadian. That's wild. Oh, look at the little puppies. <laughs> That's so cute. Whoops. That was loud. Okay. Looks like there's a lot of little shops. I'm going to actually turn this way. This side is probably even busier. Oh, wow. This is cool. Look at that. Oh, yeah, you can see the, uh, the temple area from here. Let's try and get around these people. Lots of cool little shops. Yep, pretty busy, but at least it's not super narrow, so there's enough space to walk through. There's a whole other, like, shopping area down here. This is the craziness in March and April when you have the cherry blossoms. <laughs> so many snacks and... I'm looking for actual food. I'm not seeing any on this side. Ooh, ice cream. What the heck? Look at that. That's cool. Got more sweet places. I don't know what these are. Cookies? Those look awesome. Might have to come and buy some of these after. Just literally gonna try everything here. <laughs> There's this thing with cats. There's actually a temple somewhere that literally just has a bunch of cats. This is uh, some type of sauce. Or not sauce, but like uh, spices. Getting a little bit closer, bit by bit. Oh, we got masks. Got wallets. Damn, that's expensive. Why are those so expensive for? Wow, look at that. Damn. This is beautiful. Got the sakura, the cherry blossoms. Okay, I can see the appeal now as to why so many people like to come here. Damn, dude. Well, I'll get a little bit closer, and then I'll uh, be able to get a nice view, hopefully. Kind of hard to do with so many people. So I decided to stop here on the side. Wow, that is absolutely fantastic. The taller section down there. So this is a Buddhist temple, and uh, it is a very, very old. It's, it was built in the 700s. Lots of people taking photos. <laughs> yep, super uh, touristy location, that's for sure. But I definitely can see why. So 
So this is the uh, grand entrance. There's a massive lantern right there. That is really, really cool. I bet it looks beautiful at night when everything's lit up. Uh, we got the sakura down here. We got plum trees, sakura it looks like. That gigantic thing right there. Oh, look at this. All right, let's get a little closer there. Something's smoking. And I'm honestly excited to go to Taiwan too, because I bet there's going to be more cool stuff like this. Probably a little less touristy, especially considering what happened there. People kind of walking in weird directions. So I can see people lighting something. I'm not quite sure what that is. There's also certain areas where you can't photograph or take videos. See them wafting themselves with the smoke. Oh, she's doing it too. Well, looks like a lot of people are going in here, so I guess we'll go in here too. Got a nice gigantic lantern there as well. Wow, that is gorgeous. I don't know if I could film in here, but we'll find out. Okay, well, it looks like there's... I guess you have to buy, like, tickets or something? Oh, wow, look at that. That is gorgeous. That's incredible. I don't know if we can actually go in there. Probably not. It doesn't look like people are actually going in, but we'll get a little closer. I can see people bowing. Okay, I think we've located the street food. Also, I forgot to mention, the name of the tower down there is called the Tokyo Sky Tree. Not quite sure where it gets its name from, I guess because maybe it kind of looks like a tree. A little bit, <laughs> I suppose, but... All right, let's check out these foods. Looks like we got crab. Ooh, damn, that looks really good. Ready to eat right on the stick. All right. Got, what is that, chicken? Fried chicken. Been having a lot of fried chicken lately. Got chocolate covered bananas. <laughs> Simmered beef giblets. That's funny. Here looks like shrimp, octopus. There's so many options. Got wakasagi tempura. That looks pretty good. Uh, not sure what this is. Got candied fruits, it looks like. Recommended strawberry. Apparently the strawberry is the best. Uh, what is this? More fried chicken? 
believe. Looking for a side, yeah, deep fried chicken. Ooh, got more on this side. Looks like uh, cabbage. Hello. For some reason, it's less busy on this side. <laughs> oh, look at this. More uh, bananas. Balloons. More candied fruit. Ooh, I don't know what the hell that is, but damn, does that ever look freaking delicious. This is Hiroshima-style okonomiyaki. Japanese style of pancake, including mixture of noodles, cabbage, tonkatsu, red pickled ginger, sakura shrimp, egg, bacon, mayo, dried green laver, and a bonito flake. What the heck? Look at this. Oh, it's a game. <laughs> Goldfish scooping game. That's awesome. Let's see if we can get one. <laughs> That's hilarious. I don't know what this is, but they're like little pancake waffle type of things. Here I think we have octopus. Must be, since that's on the sign. <laughs> oh yeah. Wow, this is really cool to document. I love it. I'm keen on trying these crab stick things. I'm probably gonna grab one of those, or maybe two. Um, I don't know which one to get though. There's ponzu, soy sauce, hot sauce. I wouldn't know which one to get. So I'm going to probably put the camera away for a second. Um, I will get back to filming more in a moment. Um, I'm just going to grab a couple of things to eat because I'm starving. Haven't had any breakfast yet or lunch. Uh, so now's my opportunity to try some cool things. I'm definitely keen on the crab. I won't be able to film it because I don't have any way to put the camera down and uh, film it as well. But I will tell you what I try and what it's like after I finish. Uh, B, please. Yep. Thank you. Ooh. Thank you. Right, thank you. I'm gonna try some of this stuff too looks good and it's only 500 yen so that's like I think about five bucks or something like that pretty cheap hello one please what what is this called thank you well we're just gonna call it mozzarella cheese thingy <laughs> all right time to try one of these out mm, that is really good it's definitely missing something. I feel like it had, if it had like some honey or syrup or something, that would absolutely make it, but it's really good. Man, was that food ever delicious. I still have no idea what that uh, thing with the mozzarella cheese was, but uh, I guess we'll call it the 10 yen. <laughs> but the, damn, this place is magical. I'm gonna do a little bit more of the ground, see what else there is, uh, and then probably move on to another location because there's a bunch of spots I wanna come and visit in Tokyo before I head out. And tomorrow we're actually gonna be doing, I don't even know what we're doing, uh, but according to Andrew, we're supposed to be doing a cherry blossom viewing party. Um, so that should be quite magical as well well but uh, yeah I'm gonna enjoy my time here first and then move on to another area so here we have the Nittenmon gate and I did check it says this place was opened in 645 AD I have to say looks pretty damn good for its age statues are beautiful that's for sure this is something cool you can do too you could do a little uh, tour on the buggy 
Look at that. What a cool view. Just standing right here. Let's go over to the other sides. Um, see what else there is in here. There is this area as well. Looks like a lot of people are going in and out, so might as well check it out. Oh wow, look at that statue right there. Oh, there's two of them on either side. Isn't this just something else? Look at that, with the beautiful Sakura right there. People taking awesome pictures. <laughs> Multiple photographers. I'm not quite sure what this is, but it's very nice. Looks like there's a little, what is that, like a coffee stand or something? That apparently I'm not supposed to photograph for some reason. <laughs> Alright, let's see what else there is on the opposite side. There's like a whole other area down there that we haven't even been to yet. So, might as well go and see that. There's another fountain right here. Looks like people are washing. There's a lot of these rituals that I don't really know. I'm gonna do some research just so I can kind of understand why they do what they do. And we've got everybody here washing. Beautiful fountain though. Let's see what that that guy does. Okay. Nice. All right, I guess that's what you do. Pour a little into each hand. Oh, he's drinking it. And other people doing the same. Okay, I guess that's, uh, that's it for the ritual. An entire other side here. They're buying these. It looks like there's charms, little packets. I'm not familiar at all with this. If there's anybody who's a uh, Buddhist, maybe you can enlighten us. Let's see what's on this side. It looks like there's like an entire other section. Wow, look at that. That is so amazing. There's like a whole other building down there too. Wow. Let's get a little closer to down there because there's a bunch of sakura it looks like and I really want to check it out. Man, there's like a whole other bunch of food stands down here. <laughs> Didn't even know that. Got a beautiful statue right there. Let's check out what they've got over here. Probably more interesting stuff. A lot of fried chicken. That is like a super big thing here. There you go. More fried chicken. Bananas. Oh wow. Look at that. Wow. I think there might be some koi in here. Oh yeah. more to it even down there. 
There's like a drop type of ride thing down there too. Wow, look how beautiful. Now if I look like her, <laughs> I'd be able to take some stunning photos over here of myself. <laughs> I guess that's pretty much it. I guess we'll walk down there, see if there's anything else. If not, we're gonna move along. This place is just stunning. All right, let's move along down here. Looks like there's a whole other area. Lots of little food stands everywhere. Here we got a lot of things with stuff written on them. Ooh, this looks pretty cool. Got more food stands. There's just food everywhere. <laughs> it's the one thing I notice here in Japan is uh, everybody loves to eat. They love to munch on things constantly. Small little things here and there. And then you have a nice big meal after, or before, I don't know. I'm just talking about based on what I've seen so far. This is a cool spot though. Nice clothing shops. This is really cool. I literally just found one of the coolest freaking stores ever. They literally have uh, swords, samurai swords. Perfect. So I just got permission to uh, film what's in here. These are beautiful. If I had somewhere to store this, I would totally buy one. Wow. Look, they even got flintlocks. That's neat. And they're really not that expensive either. There's something really cool over here. Wait until you guys see this. But you could literally buy... I'm assuming it's the entire suit. <laughs> For 23,800 yen. That's, uh, I believe, 240 bucks, roughly. These are neat. So apparently these ones, oh, this is a bladeless training sword, 154,000, that one's 270,000, that's like almost $3,000. And it also said, this is a replica sword made of zinc, you can take it on a plane and take it abroad. Very cool. What a neat experience. Now unfortunately, if I wasn't uh, going to be around going around Asia for like approximately two months and I would definitely bring one home but I cannot bring that around with me this is too much but if you do come here you can come and check out this store it's in this random mall <laughs> that's right next to the temple um, so you'll be able to find it if it's uh, something that intrigues you and the guy was super nice and let me film too love all these cool little alleyways Okay, so that is uh, pretty much our experience here at the, uh, I think it was the Shenji, I might be saying it wrong, Shenji Joe Temple. Um, really neat experience, definitely worth coming out here. Uh, I don't know if I'd rank it as the number one thing to come and see. I guess it's like a tourist attraction, a temple, if that's what you're coming here to see. It's definitely worth it, 100% worth it to come and check it out. Um, so there is going to be one more video of Atomy, which I'm going to post on the vlog channel probably after this video. Um, so this is going to kind of like mess up the timeline, but I just want you guys to understand what it is that's going on. Um, just because I kind of want to let, you know, obviously everybody know that I went to the forest last night. But I'm going to get out of this area. I'm going to actually go to this beautiful looking national garden. It is still one of the top things apparently to do here in Tokyo. I'll have a completely separate video. I also want to go to probably Akihabara, uh, which is like the electronic central. There's some really, really cool spots down there to take a look at. But uh, that is it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Smash like button and uh, we'll see you in the next one.